Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 24 of Let's Play Warhammer 40k, the uh, Rogue Trader, the Astro Militarum Commander. There we go. My brain just suddenly failed there. Only a couple more levels and we've actually finished Soldier. So let's see what we want to run with now. Rapid Reload. Hmm. I don't think I use my gun enough. I don't like, yeah, I don't use my shot enough, I don't think. I think I'm gonna look through other abilities and see if there's anything else in here that's kind of good for us. Hmm. We could get some characteristic training, some extra agility from this. Even more ballistic skill. Huh. Unflinching heroism? Yes, please. Oh, shit. Let's get something else as well. Combat addict? No, let's not do that. Get an idea? Nah. Uh, what? Like, so I'm bad with medicine, but... I mean, I really don't know what my, I would say my skill is, really. Let's get base skill awareness, I think. Try and get that awareness up a little bit for us. Do not falter. Ready to serve. Better dead to die for the Emperor. No. No. I'm trying to think of skills that would make a lot of sense. Is like, you know, let's give him base skill carouse, and then we'll give him Medicare. I I'm happy with that. I've just realized you two are the wrong way around, aren't you? No, no, that is right. What the fuck? Weird. Anyway, uh, Cassia. What do you have down here? I'm blinking stare. At the end of combat, enemies damaged by the navigator suffer an additional plus five damage on all attacks opportunities and cannot dodge them. All right. Um... Okay. Opens the warp. Enemies affected by the navigator's ability stuff. Second minus ten penalty resistance test. Okay. Yeah, that's actually good for them because uh, her agility is lower than her passive her, by her possession by a lot. And uh, yeah, very important, I would say, skill wise. Uh, are you? Uh, the enemy of hatred, the divinity, and their allies near affect the war, him or furious recital gain plus the devotees' L weapons. Wait, WP is weapon skill, right? No, willpower that makes sense. Uh, willpower divided by two damage for a single shot and attacks. That's only for a round, though. No, she doesn't have one of those types of weapons, so... I kind of like Litany of Hatred. It seems pretty good. Yeah, we'll go for Litany of Hatred. I kind of like that, actually. Let's give her some more movements as well. Movement points are something I just care about very greatly. Right, contempt and rage. What abilities does he have down here? Sanguine Siphon. Oh, that's cool. Um... Give him Psy rating one. Actually, no, we could, you know, no, we'll give you Corrals. That makes sense. Sure. All right, Pascal. The only operative at the moment. Ooh. Yeah, that just immediately. That's that's great. Like the ability to heal. Yes, please. 
With each step, <coughs> I forge my destiny. Right, let's have a quick look stars. around. And just make sure we take as much loot as physically possible. Well, not as much loot, but let's make sure we, you know. Sorry, I need to cough. Sorry about that. There's a cogigator over here. You know what? So divine watches all yeah. Let's just immediately us. get this guy's safety. In the cycles of the four bait, uh, for ordained, there lurks a few of worship. The tech priest's body convulses, pained, planative creaks of binaric prayers come from his vox. A moment as moments pass. The signal becomes less and less clear, as if something twisted and wrong were being added to it. Pascal studies the tech priest's face carefully. His vox system moans in a tragic vibrato. Subject unidentified. This is not the blessed Amarnat. Strange, I request your name. How do you know my mentor's motto? Who are you, servant of the Omnissiah? The fire of the hearth sent forth sparks. The name of its spark is Abel. Hanuman. The tech priest looks over at Pascal for a brief moment. His speech becomes clear. The echo of my call has reached you. Good. The iteration is at its end. The design is fulfilled. What is the intention? Why are you calling yourself by my name? Was it you who summoned me to Rikar Minoris? What for? I categor categorically demand an answer. Pascal's voice rises in an intimidating howl, but the delirious tech priest does not seem to understand what he is saying. What design? An intention both bold and honorable to open new gates for the waters of knowledge and comprehension, a plan written so that the righteous may follow, and trust in the great pattern of revelation and uniform progression toward it. Pascal's voice is trembling with elation. Those are his words. I have not heard them in very so very long. Uh, let's ask him about Amanat. You came here because of him, after all. No. The tech priest, weak voice grows stronger. He came here. He came because of himself. Myself? To redeem myself? To correct a mistake? Possibly. But how do you... There is a look of gentle condensation on Abel's eyes. Strange, given the circumstances. The hubris of the mind spurs him to build monuments to himself. Do not regret, for all is predetermined by the iteration. A devastating coughing fit cuts him off, and you hear a clang of tearing metal from inside his chest. You can talk once we get him out of here. A cold premonition breaks the heart. The probabilities are dark and frightening, brother. I do not wish to gaze into them. We are the flame of knowledge that drives the darkness away. Pascal is quickly inspecting Abel's wounds, praying, paying no mind to the blood and sacred uh, unguent staining his sleeve. His vox rasps smoothly. Do not fear what is to come, brother. We are already here. Let's examine the tech priest. There are deep burns all over his flesh, and the skin around his augment, augments, or metics, is charred. Blasphemous spells have been carved into his sacred iron, forming a holy litanies of scrap code. It's amazing how robust the tech priest's life support system have proven to be, maintaining the spark of life in his grievously wounded body. Do you know him, Pascal? The subject has not been identified and has no record in my catalogue. Inter interrogation is impossible due to the subject's evident effective state of clouded consciousness. How did you kill those heretics? What technology did you use? Existence has warned Finn and Fred Bear. Estacatos has discontinued the cycle. Estacatos? The word does not appear in my catalogue, but I am aware of his existence. Perhaps it is shrouded sounded in the Blessed Amaranth session sermons. I must consult my notes. Let's try to take the press tech priest down. As soon as you tuck the test tech priest's battered flesh, he shifts his gaze to you. And says with sudden clarity, Many sparks have gone out, but not all. The electric shepherds are alive, in the darkness. I heard their prayers. Find them, save them, recite the hymn of contact circuit restoration, so that you may behold what is hidden. A blast of motive force runs down the tech priest's body, and his face contorts in a mocking grimace. Malformed Benharic code, repulsively jarring to the ears, pours out of his rocks. Information archived to the effect of the circuit restoration hymn is the entrance password to the electro priest's hiding place. Pascal responds with the dour rhythm of a contaminant aria. I make I note with great sorrow that the cultist ritual has been partially successful. My tech brother has been tainted by corruption. He is in the grip of schismatical and unholy imitation of machine spirit. I request immediate activation of the Texorus Tex Tex Schism Protocol. What is a schism? Is that? An ugly mocker of a noble machine spirit, colorated by the warp. Sometimes a few lines of despicable scrap code or a small clump of the motive force falls under the arch enemy's influence, 
and degenerates into an abomination of this sort, one whose very existence is an insult to the Omnisire's wisdom. I shall help save him. The possessed man responds with a burst of repulsive laughter. Every now and then, a word or two of Gothic finds its way into the Binharic obscenities pouring out of his vaults in what seems to be the schismatical's tentative foray into a language that is alien to it. His body convulses, his jo joints twist at unnatural angles with the sound of bursting steel couplings. As the possessed man thrashes, thrashes about, his internal augments emerge gradually through the hanging tatters of his flesh, as though an iron homunculus hidden inside the tech priest were trying to cast off the meat cocoon that is no longer needed. Pascal's mechanendrite extends a thin drill drilling needle. Sacred ungent, or ungent, ungent, listens on it. A code purification area is heard as the needle sinks into the possessed text priest's skull and touches his neural augmentic, forming an electronic, electric circuit with it. Extreme strain is visible on his face. Furious litanies pour out of his walk. Result failure, requiring assistance. Uh, send a purifying charge of the motive force into the possessed man's body. May the machine god heal you. Undaunted, you grab one of the severe, uh, severed cables and press it into the tech priest's body, and a shock of formidable power shakes the possessed man. Machine oil gushes out of his mouth. His vox hisses, deafeningly as the flow of the motive force burns the corruption in his scarred sacred iron. The overloaded overload destroys some of the circuit boards and his neural augmentic, resets his code and erases the schismatical form of existence from existence. The tech priest's eyes roll up and he loses consciousness. Crushed yet still alive but no longer in the fall of corruption, with the utmost care, Pascal takes his body down from the mechanism and lays it on the floor. His steering litanies of gratitude to the Omnisire echo throughout the hall. Rest, tech brother. We will come back for you when we have done our duty to the miraculous fusion reactor. Lord Captain, the Omnisire commands a pious mind to strive toward uncovering the truth. Therefore, I will not stop until I find my mentor and understand his connection to the servant of the machine god. I request the privilege of joining your retinue as a rightful companion. I can offer fulfill, to fulfill the duties of an emergency on your ship in exchange for the right to follow you and conduct my own investigation. Okay, so we now have... Uh, I believe we've now got the engine here. So now all we need is... Let Do we need... Oh, we just need people, I think. So I think we are literally ready to leave this system at some point soon. So obviously we need to, you know, finish off this area first. Let the faith guide my path ah, so this glory. is okay. So we've now opened that, right? So that was why we needed to go this way. What's this? A distribution server. That's still doing that. So we definitely don't want to go back that way. Right, I guess it's time for me to just attempt to get through this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Hmm. Well, how the fuck am I meant to know that? Okay, one minute. There's got to be somewhere in here that I'm... Adeptus, Mechanicus... No, that's not the thing. No, it's not going to be... Okay. This is going to be a little annoying, I think. It's going to take a while. I'm the one who has walked the path here. I feel like I'm missing something and that you there's probably like, people are probably just gonna scream at me for this, but I do not know it. Hmm. I'm 
pretty sure it is this one. It's got to be the motive for... No, not that one. I feel like I'm missing something, and I feel like I'm missing something pretty basic. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. That is annoying. Just gonna put those on me so I don't forget. And add all those to cargo quickly. Right. So. They mentioned the motive force too much. First two calls to you, Pilgrim. Let us fill our souls with gratitude to wars. And may the unity of sacred charges power... Oh, you've got to be fucking with me. This is going to take the piss, isn't it? I literally have to figure this out, don't I? Uh... Look no further. No, no. No. Everyone here. Abelard. What advice do you seek? We shall Everyone there. This way, Abelard. We're gonna, I'm going to do this alone with Abelard. That's a distribution servitor. I've got to be missing something. Light of terror, guide our way. Right, let's give it a second before we run this way. Give it a second again. I'm going to try and go that way again. There's got to be something over there that was. You know, something over here has got to. Augment is not fit for a servitor. Come to the enormous generator. We realize the echo fundamentals of the electro priest religion standing out among them is the triumph of reason over all of the facets of human nature. Triumph of reason Experience. over human nature. Nothing matters more. Okay, so we we'll need to remember that. Wait. It appears the Electro Priest damaged the motive force circle purpose to turn them into a trap for him. Okay, so apparently that's just no, like I missed. No okay, fair enough. So. I've missed something. Clearly. The question is, what the fuck have I missed? No suffering will make me forget his sacred Mark words. the symbol of a key that appears to connect Burn two lines. Heretic. Kill the mutant. Purge the unclean. I really don't fucking know what's going on like right now. Let the faith guide my path to glory. Okay, so I can't ask him for the hymn. What's this? No. I guess I'm just literally just gonna have to death, fucking guess it. I forge my destiny among the stars. Oh, no, I didn't. I just needed to go this way. Okay, fair enough. I'm still gonna try and figure that thing out. A shortish, muscular man wearing the scarlet colors of the priesthood of Mars steps into your path. The wrinkles on his cheeks and forehead point towards his 
propensity for frequent outbursts of fierce anger, but right now, he's showing no signs of aggression. Glowing blue patterns of electric tattoos or electro electus show, show through his oddly bluish tinted skin. The man's eye sockets are dark and empty, yet he turns to face straight towards you with no hesitation. Is a sharp, screeching voice, and unlike a bird's cowing, cawing, may the charge of the omnicide's mercy persist in the hands of the faithful. May the votive force persist in their batteries. The Emperor protects. The man responds curtly, as if giving a military command. The Omnicide knows all, comprehends all. The hallowed electric dynamic Cenobrium uh, receives you, Pilgrim. I am Da Impulsive Six, a servant of the motive force and the Praetor Electroid of this sacred monastery. Pascal bows down humbly before the man. A thrill of Benharic signals come from his box, to which the Praetor responds with a solemn gesture of blessing. Pascal turns to you and says, The rank of Praetor Electroid is a sign of high standing within the Electro Priest fraternity. To have get, been granted anointings is a great honor. You have the honor of posting the rogue trader of House von Valantius. I urge you to follow proper etiquette when interacting with the eminent bearer of the sacred warrant. Within these walls, worldly titles are nothing before the motive force. Your deeds, however, speak for far louder than titles. Your path here is sprayed with the blood of desecrators. That impulsive six. It was you. It was to you, was it not, that Logus Abel came seeking interpretation of, the, of his dis, uh, data trans? Yes, Tech Brother Abel arrived here to engage in a magnetic meditation that would help clarify his visions. Unfortunately, the heretic's machinations prevented us from completing the ritual. The esteemed Logos volunteered his help in defending the monastery, but contact with him was lost soon afterwards. Tell me more about Logus Abel. We did not speak much to each other. He preferred to devote his time to solitary reflections in his chapel. The Omnisar has given Tech Brother Abel a gift of great insight, which allows him to discern each individual facet of existence rather than the overall view. This makes his logic different from that of other people. His mind has always been able to combine facts and conclusions into harmonious wholes that were nothing short of beautiful. May the many among my flock found his sermons poetic. What kind of visions was he receiving? The Omnisar's revelations was encrypted with great meticulousness, which indicates its great importance. Grasping it fully is beyond my ability, but a single touch was enough for me to realize the enormity of the secret concealed within. Or, more exactly, exactly, the secret design, which is how, which was how Tech Brother Abel referred to it. His mind had discerned in the world, then in the world around him, in trances of some traces of some grand science that he wished to comprehend. I have rescued him from the insurgents. I hope the Omnisire preserves Tech Brother Abel's life, that he may continue to comprehend the mysteries he had tapped into. Why are you calling me a pilgrim? Only those lay people who desire to experience the motive force are allowed to cross this monastery's threshold. All other are profaners and criminals. You do not belong to the fraternity of Electro Priests, but your intentions are good. If you are not seeking the Omnisire's wisdom, then it was the motive force itself that brought you here to find it. But I have a few questions about this place and the people in it. Proof is like light, and blocking its path is criminal. The Praetor Electrode nods majestically. Who are you? The hard-working servants and dwellers of the Cenobium, Electro Priest of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The Corpse of Cardi did us great honor by entrusting our, into our care the sacred relic around which the hallowed Electrodynamic Cenobium was built. What precisely do you believe in? We have just devoted ourselves to the worship of the aspect of the mo machine god which is known as the Motive Force. It is the blessed divine spark that creates imperative impetuous in the uh, universe. The Omnisire, in his mercy, gave the world the gift of the motive force, and we follow its impulses in order to increase it, bring it to enlay people, and protect it from unholy hands. The relic that this monastery protects provides the entire planet of Rikabinoris with the blessed motive force, and we, unworthy though we are, are glad to serve the ancient machine that dwells in this place. Tell me more about your relic. It would be pointless to describe the miraculous fusion reactor, only through beholding its ferocious power can one comprehend its blessed exist essence and fear the might of the Omnisire. Its core was found 4,000 years ago and delivered to Rikard Minoris by the holy warrior of faith, luck, impulse. I, a one, during one of his campaigns. Its sacred spark has not gone out for an instant, and the walls of power and power units of the Cenobium have been erected around the relic in order to protect it from ignorant laypeople, as well as protect them from its formidable might. Pascal keeps his solemn silence, but the quick clicking of his mechanandrite claw betrays his excitement of being so close to this sacred acrotech. You are not like other members of the Dex Mechanicus I have met. 
Our faith imposes a duty of obedience on us. Every electoral priest is given numerous electors that combine in a blessed Volgeist circuit, allowing a feeble flesh to withstand the might of the motor cores. That is why our skin glows with its light, and our eyes boil and melt when we are ordained. The Omnisar tears is what we call this phenomenon, the drying away of unworthy flesh. As we shun the layperson's primitive means of looking at the world, we gain the ability to sense the motive force around us with our entire bodies. Well, I understand everything. It please to be the conduit of, conduit of truth. What happened to you and how did you manage to survive? When the heretics descended in droves upon this cenobium, we gave battle, but the unholy foes buried the Omnisar's warriors under a mass of their bodies, thus extinguishing the defender's spark of purity. It was then that I ordered my few surviving brethren to retreat into the monastery's secret chambers. Upon taking refuge there, we began to destroy the blasphemous intruders in serendipitous ways. Alas, as fire as my brethren's anger was, I had no right to permit them to die in honest combat, for the right of taking back our abode still lay ahead for us. I must commend the skill in which, you gave, uh, which your secret chambers are concealed. He a tinge of wounded pride in Henrik's words, as if he was upset about failing to discover the electro priest shelters. Your choice of tactics was wise as well. There was no point in losing more lives in the massacre that this cultist wrought. The leader of the heretics fought their way to the Ark within well, the miraculous fusion reactor. She's trying to desecrate the right of operation with her unholy litanies, so that the relic may be corrupted and the world of Rikar Minoris may perish in a fount of fire. But my brethren, in their magnetic meditation, are hampering her efforts by chanting an access request prayers in unison, thereby suppressing the commands that blasphemers enter. Praetor Electroid nods towards his entran entranced comrades. This holy place will be protected against sacrilegious practices, I swear it. In the monastery, I was attacked by people who looked like electro priests. This is a lamentable, state, lamentable mistake. We knew of no help that was on its way. We were not expecting to encounter any allies in the monastery chambers, but I see that you are alive and I mourn the senseless deaths of my brethren. I wonder if you would have been so touchly mourned, touchingly mourned the Lord Captain's death, or if such sentiments would have only been awoken by the sound of void ship delivering a punitive strike from orbit. You made the right decision when you cho chose to avoid combat and save yourselves. Thank you, Pilgrim. It was not easy watching unholy intruders stampede through the chambers of my temple. We are all invived. Uh, we all invived our brethren who had fallen before the sacrilege began. I wish you get to the holy reactor. <laughs> Damn. The Ark is hidden from Pilgrim's eyes, but considering the extraordinary circumstance of your visit to the monastery, I grant you that right. The hole that leads to the High Reliquary has been barred by the enemy, but I will open a secret path for you. Enter the Ark and experience the motive force, Pilgrim. We will pray for you to the security system that they may refrain from punishing you for your intrusion. I must press on. May the charge of the Omnicide's grace persist in the bat batteries of the faithful. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check something. I've got to open this before we leave. I've just got to. So, try. We're gonna, I'm going to try this. Nope. Okay. I feel like this is going to take a long time. Yep. If, if oh fuck off, that's not what I pressed. And yes, this is the fact because it's given me this many choices. I, I, I get to essentially just go through all of this and make myself want to die. Uh. Okay, so it's now the watchful. It's okay, guys. We've got this. I promise. Wait, it was the watchful, yeah. So we were a dirt, dirt. The funny thing is, we are literally hardly anywhere. Like, it's going to take us so much longer to do this. Okay, so we're now done. I'm going to do, like, all of the first ones. Like, I'm going to do all of these, and then in the next part, we'll continue the rest. Because I refuse to not randomly open this if I don't, like, you know, I, I, I deserve whatever's behind this for the simple 
simple fact that I'm willing to just sit and click. I, I'd be surprised if it isn't the motive force, though. Not that one, okay. That was uh This is it really not the motive force? Yeah, doesn't look like it would have been. I will probably I would have probably been stuck here for a fucking long time then. Well, in we the next part, guys, we will try to figure forces. it out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. Most people guys stay safe, have a great day, join the channel membership if you're interested, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.